Hey guys, welcome to the screencast of uh, us looking at one of these questions in the motion in one direction. If you haven't done so, pause the video and make sure that you watch this describing motion video. It does a great job of, of uh, describing what the motion looks like in some easy examples. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply that on our worksheet and we're going to do question one and two for tomorrow. So let's take a look here and if I read this real quick, a student jogged from the school to the library. It took the student 35 minutes to get to the library where he spent 10 minutes browsing and checking out a book. He then walked to the coffee shop on the same street in 15 minutes. He spent 40 minutes sitting at a table in the coffee cafe and reading the book before heading home. He walked home in 25 minutes and remained there until the next morning. So let's break that down with this picture. And what I'm gonna do is I opened up a new one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, show you guys how we're going to do this on uh, a Google drawing. However, if you'd like to, where this, uh, this graph is supposed to be, you guys can get out graph paper or just a normal sheet of paper and make your own graph. And then just take a picture with your phone and, and paste it in here might be easier with colored pencils or something like that to do to do that to do it that way but I'm gonna show you how to do it on the computer and kind of talk about it and then we're gonna kind of do question one together and then you guys will have question two to kind of do on your own all right now don't forget to write in these key terms these are gonna be big as we kind of go through some of these questions and so understanding those and those are coming from the video that you were supposed to watch yesterday um, so using these distances shown the diagram above. So that diagram, I'm gonna flip back to it. It looks like this, all right? And uh, we're gonna use those distances and we're gonna make a graph, all right? So label the axes of the graph. So we have we have time gonna go on the x-axis. That's a very common one when we're doing a motion graph. You know, we got time. And then and then we're gonna go uh, on the, the y-axis, we're gonna label it displacement. So assume that a positive displacement is from school towards home. Okay, great. So we'll click on this once. And then what we'll do is we'll copy it. So right click and copy it or control C. And then you can go to insert drawing and insert a new drawing. All right, and then you can right click and you can paste. And so then our graph will be pasted on there. Now we can start editing this drawing. It's tough to see the lines a little bit. Um, so very, very easier on your computer to see those lines. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a couple text boxes. I'm gonna do one way below the drawing here and I'm just going to say this is the label is time in minutes. Oops. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another text box, and I'm going to make that text box. We'll just go right above it for now, and I'm going to call this displacement. I spelled that wrong. Displacement. And we'll say, we can even say school toward home. All right. So we're going to rotate this one. All right. So let's see. Let's get off the text box a second. And we're going to try to rotate it. Uh, we'll go counterclockwise. And then I'm going to move this right here. And I'm just going to move it over here to this side. So the side of this graph here. All right. All right. Here we go. Oops. I had another text box. I'm going to delete. All right. So now I'm going to label the graph here. And again, if this is like a lot or it's, you're not getting it, just do this on a piece of paper at home and take a picture. That's fine too. Maybe you can print off some graph paper. I'll even link some, some graph paper that we can maybe print off in the worksheet. Um, and then I'm just going to label this. So I'm going to make another text box on the bottom here, right underneath the graph, all the way to the end. And then uh, I think I'm going to make the text a little smaller. So let's say 10 point font. And let's move this over so it starts right at zero. And we'll say zero, of course, in the corner. And then I will go a couple over and we'll do 20, a couple more over. So each one's a 10, basically. And then 40. And 60 and we'll keep going all the way till we get to to where we need to be two and a half hours so we'll go ahead and do that all right so I went all the way up to 160 as you can see on here um, and and that's what you guys can do too 
So it actually doesn't matter how you label your graph um, as long as it's consistent. And so the, the lines can represent consistency there. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do the side. So displacement. And it said the displacement is in miles, right? So we'll go up to, you know, three or four miles. So we'll do that again. So I will just do another text box here. And I'm just going to draw one. Not too big, something like this. And then um, I'm going to put zero. And then I'm going to put a bunch of spaces and put one. And then I'm going to right click and rotate this. Oh, I got to click off of it. And then click back on it. And rotate it. Hmm. I thought I did. Let's try to rotate this like we did the last one. Counterclockwise. And then I'm going to take it. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. It's pretty long. We're going to take it, we're going to move it way over here. And there we go. And now I can say zero. We'll say one right about there. I'll say that is how many spaces we got in there. One, two, three, four. So uh, one, two, three, four. We'll say two right about there. One, two, three, four. We'll say three right there. One, two, three. Make this a little bit bigger. And we'll put another uh, four right up here. Uh, oops. Not big enough. All right, great. All right, so we got our, our whole graph labeled. Uh, we can start putting in what we need to. So maybe I'll, I'll move this kind of to center here uh, so we know what that time is in minutes. And let's jump back now to our what this, this person's doing. So it took the student 35 minutes to get to the library where he spent 10 minutes riding. So let's let's do that. 35 minutes to the library. So we start at school. So that it was from school to home is positive displacement. So let's start at zero. Please don't be confused about this graph. I didn't was not, I'm not meaning to have that confusing to you guys. You can do this on a sheet of paper too if it's easier. Uh, but this is just kind of some fun way to do it on the computer. Makes it nice and neat. So I'm going to draw a line here. So I'm going to click line. All right. And I'm going to start drawing the line from zero. It's going to go to 35, so this is 35. And how long is it from school to the library? So school to the library is 1.2 plus 0.9, right? So 2.1 miles, so just over the 2 here like that. So we'll start right at 0, 0, and we will go to basically 35, which is right there, and go up to 2.1, somewhere around there. All right, now I'm gonna make this line a little bit thicker, so let's say three pixels, and I'm gonna change the color. We'll just start with that first color there. All right, so there's my first line there. All right, so we have a, we have a line there now. Let's cl we can click off that line, and we can draw another line here in a second. So let's go ahead and look back at the next thing. There he spent 10 minutes browsing and checking out a book. So where was his displacement? He was still at the library for 10 minutes. Well, time doesn't stop. So we're going to have a straight line here. All right. And we're going to have this straight line. And we're going to have this straight line go for 10 minutes. So 35 to 45 would be something like that. Okay. Now, Trevor, you draw that one a little bit straighter for us. Something like that. Uh, I'm going to change the color of that one. Something completely different, so we can see the difference here a little bit better. All right, so 35 to 45, and then he walked to the coffee shop. So coffee shop is back towards school. So we went 0.9 miles back to school, or 1.2 from the bottom, right? So let's figure that out. So oh, how long did it take him to do that? Um, on the same sheet, 15 minutes. Okay. So we're going to draw another line, and we're coming back. All right, now the displacement is 1.2, which is just above here, so something like right here. All right, and it took them another 15 minutes, so from 45 to 60. So there's your displacement right there. I'll change that color too, something completely different, so we can see the differences there. Okay, uh, and then he spent 40 minutes sitting at a table in the coffee cafe. So do the next two here and, and on your own, and keep drawing those lines in or on your graph paper, and it should look like, should look like mine does. 
right now your graph should represent something close to mine. All right, so now we have our graph uh, with our time on the bottom and our displacement coming up. And I just changed the color of these lines. And if you want to try to make it a little bit neater, you can. Uh, but that looks pretty good. So um, we exactly we can figure out slope. We can figure out where they're at. We can figure out how fast they're going um, with that slope uh, and everything. We can plot some points on here if we'd like to, um, just by clicking the the point button, uh, and, and and we can answer the questions. Uh, below on, on number two. So there's your graph. When you're finished, all you have to click is save and close, and it will save the graph right inside your Google Doc, just like so. All right. And if you got to go back to it and edit it, we can click edit again. So here we go. So what is your student's displacement after 1.5 hours? Okay. So what is 1.5 hours? Of course, one hour is 60 minutes. 1.5 hours is 90 minutes. So where are they at at 90 minutes? And we can label this point A. So if we want to, we can jump back here, click edit again to open up this graph and we can put an arrow maybe. All right. And we can say at 90 minutes, right? This arrow here. Whoops. Other way. I'm going to click undo. So we're going to say 90 minutes is right there. And we can put a text box there and just say that is point A. All right, so that's point A. We'll save and close again. And now we have point A on there. And what does it say? What is the student's displacement? So figure it out, the displacement. What was it again? 1.2, I believe. So 1.2 uh, was the displacement in, what is the label here, the unit? So that's something we forgot to do. Let's go back and label that, right? So time in minutes, that one's labeled, but displacement, and let's put that label and we'll say miles. All right, great. So save and close, now we got that in miles. So we're good to go there. So what is the distance here? 1.2 miles. All right, so I'm gonna let you keep going. Uh, question two, we got a few more questions here. Get the speed and get some things right here. Finish one and two for tomorrow. You don't need to submit this yet. Uh, but keep this uh, keep this up here so we can start understanding what this is. If you're really struggling with it, go back and watch that same video again from before, and, and I think it'll, it'll really help you out. So again, use the Google Drawing, use a sheet of paper, print off graph, graph paper, find some graph paper online, or I'll link some uh, on the assignment, and you guys will be.